Yo, Wait. testing. I have a signal coming in. I probably want to mute my got local the, mic. Got the Jayco hey. on. Yeah, I can hear myself in the. Whoa. Oh. All right, perfect. Ravi, are we going to push it? Okay. Are we going to push audio? Where's chat? I can't tell what's going on, man. Who's here? I believe. I Who's pushing my it friend? A little bit. Nest dude. Oh, this is Nest Dude's channel. Oh, that doesn't mean no good. He's not streaming right now. This keyboard works sometimes. Nest Dude! Why are you not streaming, man? Dude, he's been playing every Donkey Kong game. Gotta it's be freaking crazy. Be streaming. Dang. He's dressed as a giant banana. Nice. Banana. Hey, Somebody Something in Ocean. Yo. All times. Hello, people of of the, the Something Ocean. Brianna's watching. The internet ocean. How do I make Whoever this thing scary? Whoever these other people are. Pan Let's play Mario Kart Deluxe right. on YouTube. Links nope. Right. How's everyone today in our Good. beautiful audience? Who do we have watching us? Yeah. All, all, all manner of folks. Program files. I just need to kind of get my get my software together. Oh, Unity's like replacing it. So. I've had up here. It should That's be right awesome. here. Let's pin you down there. There you the are. The task bar. Yeah, when I switch away from Ableton or from the main window, it stops broadcasting. Man, okay. it didn't do that before. Today, NDI. Tomorrow, NDI 2.0. NDI 2.0. NDI 6. <laughs> they just jump straight to 6. Okay. Excellent. I've got to find out why my thing isn't is coming in on the... testing grounds it's like i thought of this before <laughs> so i have dog eggs which is a pretty good name for a project yeah it is indeed i have an old version of hot dog but we can't be messing with that what is dog eggs anyway am i working on it right now <laughs> audio difficulty yes i am <laughs> okay oh well, that's kind of good cool all right let's try this out it's like unity nah, unity I hates you i've been told dogs don't lay eggs but you know i've i've never seen that's just hearsay, dude. Ex exactly. Oh, Personally, cool. I'm going to choose to believe it. Teach the controversy. Logan. Hey, how are you? Hello. No pressure. All right, I got distracted on my way to look up, team look at, at Twitch. Guys. Every day is Unity Day for me. Hey. Lucky. I'm digging these transitions. Right? Unity. They're not bad. They're not bad. So Unity here's time. Hamster. No, I don't want to trust this computer. <laughs> okay, oh, well, Hamsters. Um, has trust issues. Let me know what you want to do with Unity. My iPad, yeah. Yeah. Talk to me, Dogan, the dog of the gens. Huh. And we'll be on there with mint options. <laughs> um, what are you doing in Unity? Can we help? Because I feel like going over real basic stuff, you know, yeah. but that's just me. Uh huh. Were you asking me or Dogan? I mean, whoever can, whoever can put up a thing. Cool. I'm just making sure that, like, my, Come on. my project thing isn't going all kinds of wacky. It could be that I'm not logged in and... No, I'm I'm logged in. Hey, okay, cool. That's How about here? I don't know. I keep trying to open like a old project. Usually, you can like upgrade your project. It'll be like, oh, there's no backward oh, yeah, compatibility. Yeah. But I'm not getting that right now. It's very, it's very dumb. And also, I just want to test some basic stuff like hamster ball. I think we were doing something with physics. We were. Oh no, on hamster ball, I have no clue. Oh, well, it's kind of the same mechanics. Interesting. Trying to get good, so I have to work at it every day. That is a good attitude. Oh yeah, it's all about. Uh, that. maybe a character moving around with some two D platforms. Super creative. Okay. That's a good platform. Forgive the pun. To be creative. That's, that's awesome. a that's a totally cool thing. Do you want to do a like platformer style, or do you want to do like uh, if we're talking side sideways and jumping? What am I doing with all this junk? Hmm. This looks like some kind of character movement code. Let's see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> Seems plausible. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is this one I was doing, like, pushing the block around? Oh, no. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silhouette mode. All right, I'm not worried about stats. I was really angry I was getting less than a certain number of frames per second for, like, absolutely no work. So let's, let's, uh, let's talk about it a bit. Finish hot dog in question mark, happy face. Cool. Um... <laughs> I'm at a weird stopping point in that project right now. I don't want to explain my problem because it's kind of embarrassing. But it has a lot to do with um, I kind of want to rebuild the physics a bit. Like I don't like using built-in physics because the game's kind of precise. So I might have to like re-implement like cartoon physics. 
Um, I've was I've been putting a lot of work into like trying to hack around it, and I do not think that that is bearing decent fruit. Luckily, indecent fruit. <laughs> oh, what was that? The last Metroid is in captivity. <laughs> it's this weird like Hebrew Roma. The galaxy <laughs> is at peace. I see. Dude, I think I figured out which voice I want to use on the Elite Dangerous stream. Let's dance. Hey, it seems we can find an asteroid. Shut up, Jake. <laughs> oh, I, I got auto tune. Let me. Um, Are you going to sing to me? Let me. Okay, good. Whoa. Uh, check this out. This is going to be a. Temporary. So you can get exactly auto tuned. See? Hey! Whoa. I am so chromatic! I'm only getting one of you. I need two. Do you hear the. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, I've got the blue! That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like it. I feel like Hannibal Burris right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because I get to do this. Hey! <laughs> this is how I'm going to make the next change. Not really, but. All right. But really. So let me see what I'm doing with all these vectors, because I have no idea. Oh. I can hear you, but I have to set up for music volume, not for like I'm gonna have a conversation. So we're like, setting up different types of vectors. Oh, this is this is funny. We were going over this the other day. These are different cool. constructors for vectors. Um, the one that takes no arguments, <laughs> two and better. three arguments. Um, but I think that's what your I might primary mic do, now. Then we're good. Sing Wonderwall. Sort of. What I want. This will be. What I want. What I need. What I think we should do. Yes, sir. Is I'm gonna make since this is like my demo project. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna do. There's, so there's this, there's this tool called Bluepoint Engine, mm -hmm. and it's a Maya plugin that's okay. like uh, super proprietary. It's, oh, a, it's a nice little game tool that has a bunch of like prefab controller models, mm -hmm. right? So like you click on a combo box and it like comes up as like, oh, do you want it like to be Robotron style controls or like a racing game or like asteroids or like Mario, right? Like. I can't remember specifically all of them, but it'd be Mario? cool to make a Mario. Yeah, the Maori. Well, no, because it's a, you can't like really, you know, it would oh, it, be kind of copyright problems. Mario, got it. Mario. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate it's a bunch -R -I -O, of Mario. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna separate a bunch of control states um, out to like an enumeration, and then we'll use a switch statement to just define how those controls work. Cool. Because right now we're doing that kind of in if, right? We're using uh -huh. or using that in update. We're saying for each button that we're pressing, do this kind of thing. And there are a couple of things that are wrong with this that work really, really well at like a... <clears throat> work really well. I'm doing this wrong too. I'm just going to break this down. You're, you're making Sorry, me Sorry, my screen sad. goes away when I need private mode. Like one thing that we're not really using and one thing I don't teach off the bat is interfacing with where the crap is the unity? Did it crash? No, we're fine. Everything's fine. I just alt tab isn't working and it made me nervous. I hear you. Um I guess I could do Windows tab. Well if this thing works at all. Is my keyboard dead? Can I send someone for batteries? Yeah. Oh batteries. Uh, Hey, it's working kinda, yeah. sorta. Alright. So I think I'm gonna break this down because all this thing does right now. Is uh, like we didn't really talk about lighting. We're just the little circle guy, mm -hmm. and we're stepping at a normal speed, using up, down, left, right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it kind of takes one at a time, and that's neat for a grid-based game. Yeah, it's like Pac-Man. And maybe we should, you know, put this into like grid-based controls, but uh -huh. it looks a little bit messy. So, clean that up and kind of go from there. Interfacing with what? I'm sorry, it didn't display. Yes, I'm just having a problem with I, this wireless keyboard mouse configuration. It's uh, you know. Please send cables. <laughs> Dude. Robbie, I don't want to hear it, man. Whatever you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if I'm worried about type A, type B, type C. I think that's just a demonstration thing. Okay. And uh, we're going to call this input function 
like a tiled or tile stepping or something like that, grid based. So the first thing that I'm going to do, hamster ball, you're failing me, man. Mm. You have a lousy name for a class. Yeah. So I think we'll just pick a new one. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Where is hamster ball? Oh, here he is. Yeah, that demo. That demo does nothing for me. So I don't need any of you guys. I don't need, uh, let's see, push force. Mm, I think those are parameters that we should open up in the event that we actually are using that. Okay. Um, and let's just add a new component. And this is called player movement selector or something like that. Oh, that works nice. <clears throat> I'm just going to be GLaDOS for all the rest of the day. Excellent. Uh, I need to go back to chromatic so that we can do microtonal things. <laughs> I can even change the pitch from 440. Ooh. Mobility. Ooh. Ooh. A starter. That'd be a cool thing to share with people who are trying to wrap it real fast. So... Ooh. Mobility starter, it links up. Hamster balls out. We're gonna just remove you. Remove you, my friend. Yeah, it's fine. You can reload the solution. Um, let's see. Let's edit this guy. This hamster ball is like the basic like love 2D type of tutorial. Like press up to go up. Press hamster left to go ball. left. I need uh, a little bit of chat. Huh. 10 by 10 mar 10 out of 10 for the margins. A keyboard game where if you move oh, into it. Right away, sir. Oh, what's up? Hey, James Rogers. What's going yeah. on? Junior, how are you? James Rogers. Interfacing. I don't know. I just what? have to. Oh, perfect. I can do this. And just turn him down. Nice. Cool. And that's how this thing works. Yeah. Cool. I love friendly. you, Jake. What's up? Thank you for the compliment, James Rogers. Yeah. Props, our legs uh, a lot. props to Sophie Mint Potion and oh, Teamad yeah. for leading on that for oh, sure. Yeah, it's looking <sighs> pretty dumb. So, more data type. <laughs> <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta put a compressor on this. I want an enumeration. Um, called control type. And uh, we're going to give it all of the types that we want. You know, like, uh, let's see, like grid, right? Grid step. Uh, something that's somewhat descriptive. Uh, what else? What's be mm. good? I guess we can do Impressive. hamster ball in, in, like, you know, rest in peace hamster ball. <laughs> Because I'm gonna get rid of that class here in a second. Interesting. Um, I want maybe something. I need a couple of good words for like referring to uh, side scroller platformer type of thing. Interesting. Still needs to work. Yes, I do think it still needs work, but it looks pretty friggin' fly, right? If you ask my guy. Uh, yuppers, I say. Words? We have words. Yo. Alabama. Alabama. Okay. That is a great word. Yeah. Um, this is this isn't distracting at all. But I can read chat from my freaking seat. I don't need to like Weird. tab over like a wiener. Asteroid style movement. Asteroid style. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna name that like asteroids. Oi. Yeah. We could just straight, you know. We could just straight rip it off. No one's gonna mind if we do like Mario. Um, hamster ball is like a Zelda style, right? Walk or like Gauntlet style. Interesting. A grid stepping is like. You ever play that game that comes with Windows where like you have to you have to go and like get the key and then like walk. Oh, it? Yeah. I think it's called Chip or something like that. Right, right, right. Um, Castle. Something like that. And you'll always be a wiener. Yeah. Nothing can change that. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah. So asteroid style, Mario style. I know. I guess we're just dealing with 2D stuff. We can, like, you know, break these out. 2D, hamster ball, asteroids, Mario. 
Um, I can replace the hamster ball movement with uh, Robotron because I'm totally ripping off. I'm totally ripping off blue blue chip or blue. Gosh, blue points. Blue point. Totally ripping blue point off, but they don't have a Unity implementation of this that I'm aware of. And every time I email them, they they don't say anything because I'm not cool. <laughs> they don't want to be my friend. <clears throat> so that. And then in order to access this control type, um, we need an like active example of this variable, right? Mm. So I want a public control type. Um, that we can call player control. Mm -hmm. And then by default, I think it picks the first one, but we can assign it to, let's say, grid step. So that is going to be control type. And it's the same way that we work with uh, key codes, right? Mm. But now we're making our own. Gotcha. So boom, there you go. Now in the editor, I have what I want. You know when it finishes compiling? Yeah. That lets me pick between these different types. Awesome. So that's like the first thing that I want, right? And I'm not sure how to parameterize it at the mm -hmm. moment, but we can start with a couple of global things like speed and whatever. Um, so let's start borrowing from hamster ball, right? I have a push force and I have a player speed. Push force is a crappy name, but we can do stuff with it. And I think I just broke the script. I just want to copy it. We'll properly remove it later. We're making tools for de for designers. That's not a bad idea. That's maybe what the, I should do on the stream. Because there's a... Do you remember what this was? Tool, tr tool, tr tool tip attribute or something like that? Or header attribute? I do not. Uh, so on, I'm going to do what everyone should do. Look at the amazing Unity documentation. Oh, yeah. Scripting reference. I want header attribute. I just can't remember what it's called. Oh, it's called header attribute. <laughs> that was in my bookmarks for entirely too long. Oh, in yeah. The there we go. So it's header and then put it down like this. So we can do this. It's a format of oh, Unity Editor. We can also start making adjustments to, um, like if we Im if we imported the Unity Engine or the Unity Editor namespace, mm -hmm. like if we were using that as well, we can actually change a lot of the look of these. But right now, just really basic things to keep us organized. If it ever compiles, I probably did something wrong. Oh, it's deprecated. Or I'm doing it wrong. Tell me about my problems. Header attribute, string header. Okay. I type so quickly that I have to keep doing it. No, that's not right. Uh... I don't think I have to type attribute. We've done this like this week. Uh, do we have it in that file? Do you still have that? I'm sorry? Do you still have that file we were working on yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. Why is that still coming through? Using the decorator drawer. Health settings, public and health zero, shield settings. Yeah, this is the idea. But for some oh. reason, it's not gotten run over. Just like Christina Aguilera asked me to. <laughs> hmm. How the hell is it still going in there? Hmm. Oops. Yeah, Robotron, exactly. I'm telling you. Robotron's hmm. pretty straightforward. But I want to even extend this so that it just works with the controller. Because when you start sending, like when, you know, the way that I've been showing you to do it is mm -hmm. quick for testing. Right. When you're making new controller mappings. But Unity has an entire set of pre existing controls. Um, that we have that we can just hook into, right? So if you go to project settings input, there are axes, lots cool. of axes. Cool. And you can use this to set up three buttons. It's basically horizontal, horizontal, vertical axis. You can choose what joypad that comes from automatically, as well as like backups for that. And then the behavior of those fire buttons by default. 
left control is fire one or mouse zero, which is the left mouse button. Um, and a lot of game engines have this type of interface. Unreal uses it to really great effect. Um, when you get to the point where you're like, oh, well, I want my game to support like 40 players, you have to do a lot of abstraction. Cool. Um, but you would probably, like, the last time I did something like that, it was like I just added a billion more axes. And I was like, <laughs> all right, player four, this is you, always. Um, did it work? Yes, it did work. Nice. I had three players controlling one bag of fish. That's awesome. Is there a space here or something? Why am I so hurt over this? Anyway. There we go. I still have voice coming here. I'm trying to mute all the external inputs so I don't get doubling here. What's Jake saying? I can't hear him. He's using the robot microphone. No, I'm actually not. But can you not hear me in the stream? Your mic's not on. Okay, good. I don't <laughs> understand why it's still coming through my... Do I have a talk back in this somehow? Yeah, you're coming through on 5.6. Five, six. Five, yeah, you're six. coming in through your uh, video or your music your feed. Through the, yeah. Through the iPad. Although yeah. Everything is muted completely on the sound card that I'm using. So I have no idea how. It's amazing. I you know you still... have a headset turned off, right? Right. Okay. Now I have my headset turned on. Yeah. Yes. But I have, I have everything muted on the computer and it's still coming through for some reason. It's like leaking through. What does this look like? Either that or the focus right control is BSing me and not actually muting anything. Everything's turned all the way down. But still, I'm coming through the robo system like so. Impressive. I'm impressed. I don't know how, but I'm trying to figure that out now. Oh, that's working just fine. Ooh. Cool. What? Okay, well, whatever. I'll just rename it and move it, jerk. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the data type. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's still coming through. Control preset. I don't need you as much as you think you need anything. All right, because that's the thing that's actually being displayed. Hey, it's not giving me any errors. Okay, and then let's just call these generic features. Ah, uh, go faster. So now that's organized. Sweet. Nice. Um, we can. So yeah, I gotta use the virtual input stuff. That's the demo. Oh, I can yeah. I can do that with uh. Because I think by default, the horizontal and vertical axis um, close tab. Let's go back to that panel real quick, and I'll show you what's up. So it's under Edit, Project Settings, Inputs. And there's also a lot of cool optimization features and things like that in there. Mm -hmm. But under Horizontal already, we have negative and positive. Um, horizontal axis are set to the left and right keys. And vertical, likewise, are up and down, as well as this SWAD thing. So we have a bunch of like keys, W S A D. They're already mapped, right? Uh huh. So we don't have to like we don't gotta mess around. <laughs> all right, with all that. Public float speed, that's fine. Uh what else do we need? Maybe jump height or something or mass strength. I guess at the moment we're doing the we're doing the grid step. Mm. Is there a better game than grid step? Like something that you know like a uh, what was that one with the dungeon and the rhythm? Uh, that's too long a name. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. That's the game, but I was like, that's not gonna fit my my thing here. Uh, because we're just gonna move the hamster step over. What else is that? Oh, uh, what's that like? You know, you have to go kick the wampuses, but Pokemon movement. Pokemon movement. Yes, it would definitely work with gamepad analog stick by default. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Team Matt, I had the same reaction. I was like, oh, great. We transitioned to him, and he's not there. And then I just... It is kind of like Pokemon. Like, when you press left or right in Pokemon, you just move a tile over, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. in the original game? Absolutely. All right, let's call it that. Cool. Ah, I see. Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I got you, man. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. So Pokemon is a regular step. 
Um, and that means that we're going to be dealing with things like orientation. We might want to put some notes about those details down, but that's fine. The short of it is, um, let's see. It's tile-based movement. Yeah. Love it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, sorry about the delay, dude. We are we are reading you loud and clear. Um, so that speed maybe should be like a grid distance in this context. Uh, As opposed to what? Game with Zelda is free. Oh, cool. I'm just listening to... Oh, this doesn't exist anymore. Sorry. Copy, paste... Um, as opposed to what? What do you mean? Oh, um, you said that would work right, and I was, uh, I was wondering what the alternatives were. Well, I'm thinking about, like, with Pokemon, your orientation changes every time you make a step, mm -hmm. and that's not a big, you know, I, that's kind of a, that's a thing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be public, I guess it could be, but we can kind of, I think we can conditionally change, like, oh, actually we should try and figure that out. And this is, a little redundant, but it's a good idea. Uh, conditional header? Gosh. Are there other... Let's use this. Property... Property drawer. Property attribute. Nah, I don't need to extend property attribute right now. I need something that... Yeah. This is all like extending Unity editor stuff. And then it says, oh, our custom co decorator thing. Okay. Do I have more of these? Do, do, do. Order. Specify the order that multiple drawers should be drawn in. Space. Oh, 10, order 0, 2. It's kind of cool. I wonder if we can do like if def or something like that. Hmm. Whatever the case. Looks like I lost that feed, Jake. Yeah. I'm here. I'm just doing sound card settings. Oh, I thought you were still trying to turn the mic off. No, I'm trying to get off. the mic to not show up in the stream. For some reason, it's going straight through the focus right and ignoring all of my mute input things so I can hear what I'm recording in even when I don't want to. Well, speed's fine. We'll let that scale. I got nothing I got nothing against that. We'll just set that to something. And start pointing that over. So I'll put a value in here. And I don't know if this is units or what. Like what are we snapping to? Probably one unit. Mm, looks like it. Okay. Okay. La 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 la. So hamster ball already already does a lot of this, right? Mm. We have speed. And we're applying speed with key codes. Right. Because so we're going to change our input. Instead of from get key up, we're going to switch that to get access. So we can probably just swap this right the heck over. Um, and that's like, used to be a jump thing. I think. I can't remember. I started hot dog eggs, or dog eggs, so long ago. What's up with me and dogs? Are the Simply Compo tracks going to be going on the MP sound quality like their com compos? I would like so. I would like that to be the case. Um, I'm sure we have the materials to arrange that. Um, we just need to get them all in the same place and make that a collection. Because right now I just have them in kind of like a loose playlist on my SoundCloud, and nobody likes my SoundCloud, so that's fine. That's fine. <sighs> all right. So let's do another function called pcam and move. Pick one. So you were asking before, um, you were trying to figure out what value the movement should be and you were looking at what we were snapping to. Um, is there anything more to that other than you were just looking at the scene and thinking to yourself, I want to move this much? Or is there something else you were thinking? I'm just thinking of something that's not too difficult right. to... Something that's not too difficult to, to, to understand. Um, so if I'm moving left, then I want to move left. And then instead of doing this minus speed thing, you can multiply it by speed. Cool. Um, and that's just one extra parenthesis. Gotta make it clean, man. I want people to use this stuff. 
Mm -hmm. And that's right. Let's do the other thing too. I don't like that. It sound of all. Will there be a track review on this stream? Um, potentially. I hadn't initially planned for it, but I would love to do that. We can probably do that during breaks. Um, if we do have to fix any technical stuff. Team Ad, I did install the lovely blue background that you were asking about. Yeah. And we have a, we actually have like a be right back thing. So we can probably set that up. Um, if I can get a playlist, uh, from somebody, that'd be great. I don't know who has all the songs, but I'm also just, just catching up. So thank you for being patient with me. Uh, let's see. So instead of getting key code, I want to get axis, and I want a uh, horizontal. Um, that might be it. That might also be the wrong. Oh, I think there's a value or something like that. Oh, a sec. Uh, yeah. Use the documentation. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So we have to step past a certain threshold. That would be a good thing to have on here. Because you can put the dead zone into each axis in the editor here. Wherever the editor is. You can check for a certain dead zone. But we might as well leave that wide open and then do that at this level. So yeah, it is pretty quiet. I'd love to do a track review. I just don't know if we have the uh, bandwidth. I'm sorry in advance. I'm new to this. Is this intended to be an educational stream? I would love to teach newcomers ma Unity. Mm. I've done it a couple few times. Yeah. Uh, Steven is here for that purpose. And uh, yeah, I just want to make uh, better Unity developers and make some good Unity stuff. We're working on Unity, Unity and Unreal things in the studio. And I have a couple hours a day to, to, to demonstrate how those things work. Mm -hmm. um, check our uh, YouTube channel for ancient streams that may mm -hmm. cover some of the basics, but please feel free to ask questions. And uh, we're here to answer them. Go. Cool. Uh, where the heck was I? Let me rename this dude. It's our player proto anyway. Cool. And our player proto doesn't have any. Oh, it does have some collision on it. That's fine. So please don't apologize. Um, welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a you're a new. You're a new you're a new username. Check out the videos tomorrow. It's getting late over here. Oh, thank cool. you so much. Thanks for stopping by, Melonade. 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 Isn't this from that website with the guy that has a crazy voice and all that? Um. Cool. All right, what am I trying to do here? Speed. What was the other thing I was looking at? Speed and then... Speed. We're talking about axes, control. Oh, that's right, dead zone. Dead zone. That's not a dead zone. That's you. It's cool. A float. Yes, because the values that we're going to get from... And it's the thing i got to read chat in order to find my way. But in the input settings, for each axis, this is called horizontal. This is the name. We should copy that name into this space. There's probably something wrong here. And then I need to look at the documentation as well. Which is telling me, ever so kindly, mm -hmm. um, that... Oh, I see. It's setting the value of translation by comparing the vertical axis and multiplying it to another number. Huh? One, two. Dang. Yeah. Um, let's see. Translation, the rotation, time, delta, the time, transform, we're going to rotate by this number that's being generated and that other number that's being generated. All right, well, I guess it's useful. Um, let's just say it's greater than the dead zone, right? I'm not sure that we actually have to do that, but whatever, man. Uh, print 
not dead. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> she turned me into a frog. T-Med says, at least Nightbot had the title, mate. Title right, and then T Med's glaring at the bot. Hi, Crinkum. All right. How are you? Uh, uh, do we have a game controller plugged in? I <laughs> we <don't>. do. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's convenient. Oh, no. plugged in. I All right, perfect. Of, no, it has Hell to yeah. be. It's lit up. It All must right. be. That sucks. I had to reboot. <laughs> Hang on. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> the whole point of this exercise. So oh, that code's well, legitimate, but it's inaccessible because we're not actually ever using this function. <sighs> so <laughs> I'm thinking about we could do a fixed input, but right now I'll worry about optimization later. I'll just put in a switch. And I want to switch. Uh, these functions out. So I'm going to switch on. Hello. Wow. Hello. Nightbot's not bad. Had crink crinking. Chat, you're looking uh -uh. good, man. Stay yeah. stay pretty. Don't ever change. Um, so I'm going to switch on control type. Player control. Right. What the? You will you will listen to me when I say that. Okay. Switch on player control. What the? What's okay. the issue? Okay, no, that's just the. I'm trying to switch on the value of a variable, mm -hmm. which means that for each of these cases, it'll kind of like. When that value is 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 evaluated, mm -hmm. and we determine in the editor what that value is, we can determine what function to use for input, which we could probably compartmentalize into like a check input function, but. You know, right now we're just trying to use it, right? So if the case that player control is Pokemon flavored, right? Um, we're going to do that every frame and then break the function. That keyboard, though. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> While you're doing that, Crinkum's asking, um, what large-scale projects are we being worked on within Mint Potion? Um, we're working on a couple of big stuff, you know. Um, we we compose and and um, mix and produce the music and do everything for the music for a show on Cartoon Network called OKKO, OK um, which is uh, uh, one of the best cartoons I've seen in years. Um, we also are working on uh, a game that was kickstarted uh, a long time ago called New Ren, the New Renaissance, uh, which is tricky to describe, but it's a it's a music VR game, um, and we are we are making the art assets for it. And it's a virtual the, uh, reality song. rock opera. Yeah. That's the preferred nomenclature. Yeah. It's a full length 90 minute plus production that is kind of like Tron meets Hamilton meets Fantasia. Excellent. Meets another meets uh, the dark side of the moon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the one of the coolest projects I've ever it's been. Weird. It's awesome. off to, let alone get the chance to, you know, get get a chance to see it be made. Um, I've worked on a couple of assets for it myself. Uh, nothing major, just you know, modeling minor props for the for the level that they gave me concept art for. Uh, I'd like to go back to it. Um, and um, also, Mint Potion is also constantly working on Mint Potion. You know, we're constantly working to there get our facility up and running. Um, you know, we're constantly meeting people and stuff like that. Oh. Um, training interns like myself. Um, Let's make that dead zone. And yeah, a little bit bigger than zero. So now we're getting actual access data. And now you should hear start. me through the proper speaker. Hear me through the dead zone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's working. Cool. I know because I do um, back on so it. So speed is right. And also I'm manipulating this wrong. So I need to subtract the position. What is up with this keyboard? I'm going to battle something every week. Every week on Twitch you can watch me battle technology. <laughs> we can all battle technology. Eventually, it will determine it got my keyboard input, and we will battle. Again, we'll 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 fight them on the mobos, as my <laughs> buddy used to say. Um, all right, so now speed is a little bit out of control, just because it's one. But we're multiplying one against the transform of this object every frame, and at this scale, one unit is that far. Yeah. 
So let's bring that down. Let's 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 simmer it down a bit. Let's Are you gonna change? Huh? I know that's gonna change the speed. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm just changing the speed. I'm not changing the script. All right. Um. There also, that is positive axis. That's well, kind of working. But cool. there should be an option for stepped versus continuous. Mm. Um, for people who have a certain tile size. Uh, let's see. Question for you guys. Oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Ah yes, new run. I am uh, the recipient of many vibrations at the moment. <laughs> So let's see. Horizontal is less than the dead zone. And it should probably be a negative dead zone. Just saying. Okay. And that's fine. So I wonder why has left the orientation of O. Oh, sorry. I'm just. I'm faster than this computer. Mm. I'm trying to not react to it, but it is driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, I see why. Let's use. Let's use the thing. Let's let's use the words they want us to use. Saving. It's compiled. I hit play. I press left. It goes left. Cool. Good. And we can scale that up. I was demonstrating yesterday. Um, just like just that. That's a nice feature. So you can edit stuff at runtime in Unity? Yeah. A lot of tools do yeah. it. Not, no, ben doesn't yeah. wear prescription glasses. He what? wears prescri hipster glasses. <laughs> 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 it's M Hipton. Per hipster. What up, Crinkum? This is uh this is uh this is Robbie's studio. I just set up shop in here and it's sort of growing like the creep in StarCraft. <laughs> Alright, so Right now, I'm not going to filter out. Oh boy, I'm not going to filter out movement. Um, that means like having priority of any axis over another. Uh, so, I okay, Robbie, know I'm up. That if it's greater than positive dead zone, then we should move right. Yeah. Um, we should move up. Um, if it is. Uh, greater than yeah. the positive dead zone. Right. And we should move down. If it's less than negative. Right. Okay. Cool. And I was liking the feel of about like 0 0.1. So we'll mess with that. Um, we can turn that into a slider within like tolerances that we want. Huh? Negative left to go right. I encountered yeah. something similar when I was when I was working on. I was for whatever reason negative. Oop. It's that's interpreted. Up is both. down. Yeah. Down is down. Oh, you it's know what? And we're looking at the wrong axis. Yeah, Krika, oh. my studio is in the other room. I mean, we both we both work in here full time, but there's also another studio over there that I used to work in by myself, and uh, that was the previous. If you go back to our old streams, you can see that. Um, Yay! Here, way yeah, in our just past. But do, do, now do, do, it's being turned into do, 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 do. a different Does place for a different time kind of screen. Can we battle each other for control? control? Control. Oh, good. That's a fun mechanic. I've got more battle than you do. You do. It's bull poop. All right, cool. Good okay, game. Cool. I like it. Um, I win. I got the thing on the cursor. So oh. that is not stepped movement, so we can modify that. Right. Um, we can also rename this function to be something that's a little bit more, like, that's very Robotron-like. Uh, so maybe I'll just call it that. But... As a template, that's pretty good. Like, we're going to be doing this kind of thing a lot. So if all this crap is in the same file, I'll be happy. Uh, RVTRN. And I should have just renamed that by pressing the button. But I'm lazy or mm -hmm. retarded or whatever. We'll find you out. You are neither of those things, my friend. Uh, trust me, my brain can barely keep up most of the time. All right, so that should still work. I have been slowed down. Okay, looks good to me. Dope. Cool. All right, next is... All right, so for the case of... Um, Pokemon. 
I wish I could just duplicate. I'm doing this, doing this wrong, man. Two. 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 Three. Okay, man. Four. Okay, man. Sweet. Two. Three. So that function doesn't exist. Yet, boy. Uh, I also want to add a comment to add the other axis shooting thing. And maybe instantiate like a gun or something that indicates, you know, the cool. way that we're facing. Gotcha. Yeah, no. When you say instantiate, uh, or sorry, are you using gun as like a technical term? Like, is that a term within Unity, or do you mean? No, just like a just an aesthetic, something gotcha. that says like this is the orientation of the player. Right. Like, give it a nose. I guess Definitely. that's something that we can do. We need yeah, a prefab yeah. anyway. Cool. Of a player to attach to the script. Attach. So like right now, I have this like lovely like sphere thing. It's Shell. a sphere. It's pretty cool. You know, he does his <laughs> job. You're a sphere. And so what we're gonna do is. We're going to add a nose to this thing, quite literally. Cool. And that'll help us figure out which way is forward. As, and it also helps us express that, right? Mm -hmm. So I need a 3D object. I think we have like a cylinder or like a pyramid shape or something like that. Many I want like a... It could be anything, really. It could be a, it could be a square. Cool. All right. And we'll uh, get rid of the collision on that One. for now. I don't need you. Three. Collision. And you can be small. Like. Tears right. but a nose. How'd you get at that uh, 3D view even though we're in a 2D scene? Oh, it's always there. Okay. It's just the way that our editor view is interpreting the scene. Gotcha. So much in the same way that when we change our camera settings, mm -hmm. um, let me put these side by side. I should probably get a light in there or something, since it is a 3D game. Uh, let's make this super interesting. So I have a black-ish background, just like in real life. And we're going to attach a light to the scene. Just give me a regular old directional light so I can actually see this stuff. Let's use that super sweet 16 by 9 aspect ratio everyone's talking about <laughs> and go from there. So in the same way that our main camera interprets the scene uh, in orthographic, orthographic or projected mm -hmm. or perspective projection, where you can see that there's like, now we can see the side of this cube mm -hmm. that we're going to use as our obstacle or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the editor is doing the same thing, right? And there's a shortcut key for that. It's the numeral 2. The difference is that the editor projection well, doesn't, you know, doesn't care yeah, about the camera. Now, I guess since X is positive, this side is going to be where our nose is. Um, and that's cool with me, man. You know? Since we're looking at that, we can use the X scale component in our transform to make a little nose. You know, Pac-Man originally had a nose. He know, still does. That. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> you said Pac-Man was inspired by someone taking a slice out of a cheese pizza? I believe that. Oh, yeah. It was, I took the pizza. <laughs> I inspired Pac-Man. Yeah, you did. Nice kick drum. Uh, That's going to go out of there. I need that. I need those tunes, man. No, hey, so if we move around, will my nose be facing the right direction? You don't need this one yet. I'm not moving. Oh, sorry. One more thing I forgot. So our player proto needs to have this guy the child of it. So we have a relative thing. All right. Let's call that thing knows. Because that's what it is. You knows what you knows and you don't knows what you don't know. And we need to change this to Robotron because we're knows? testing that. Oh, yeah. And while we're at it, um, let me make a new folder to put our prefabs in. Unity does have a bunch of weird hidden characteristics, mm -hmm. um, but this one is mine. All right, let's give that a shot. Nope, not moving. Ah, 
So we're just affecting the position. We're right. not affecting the rotation of the object. Right. But Robotron doesn't really deal with that. So I guess we could do that with... Uh, ah, I got an idea. I got an idea. <clears throat> Here we go. He's the ideas man, and he's the man who makes stuff. <laughs> I'm receiving a phone call that's kind of important. Um, could you excuse me for a second? Cool. Cuckoo, could you? I need to make a phone call myself, as a matter of fact. What? If you'll excuse what? me. What? What? Everybody's just bailing. I'm here for you, man. What's up? Yo, we're back in Ableton. All right, maybe I can actually get some music done now. Uh, nice. We should probably be going back and forth more frequently instead of spending the entire hour doing Wait, one, get set up, one of the things no i was i was i was waiting and setting other stuff up in the meantime so uh let's see pick up and then all right so i'm writing a cue for um an unnamed cartoon which you might know of if you are of the cartoon watching persuasion i mean come on let's be real it's ko but i can't show you what it's for I can't show you the episode that it's for, and I can't even tell you who it's for, but if you're an avid watcher of the show, you you may even guess based on the choices of instrumentation I'm using and the styles of music we're covering. <laughs> Robbie, what you up to? Just uh, making sure the stream stays going. Keeping it real. We got to get you a VNC or a team view into that room, like from your office, so you could sit in here and banter with me. Yes. That would be so dope if you that just have like a today. remote station. That would be amazingly awesome. I'm watching this computer like slowly get, like the system CPU slowly just keeps climbing. I'm trying Great. to figure out why. What, what all is the machine doing? It's just, just mixing. Wirecast. Just Wirecast. That's it. Uh, I shut everything else down. Yeah, so. it's a it's a decked out Mac Pro running Wirecast and and it's still spiking the CPU. Yeah, we should we got to get on the phone with them. Yeah, and be like, yo, hey, this will it'll be fine definitely for like another hour or two, but then yeah. after that I gotta do Is some more troubleshooting. Some kind of memory leak or race condition or some kind of something is taking more maybe it's keeping the i don't know maybe it's keeping the stream in memory or something and and constantly accessing i have no idea why it would max out on on a, a powerful machine like that yeah i'm gonna get on the phone just running a couple streams of video email's not doing it i need them to get on the phone maybe just like have you checked the, the power switch could you unplug it and plug it back in is you your refrigerator running all right, so I have Robbie's temp in here for one of the cues. I have four cues to write in this in in Ableton before I go back into Logic into the uh, into the project that has my like the video and all the it's the the scoring template basically where the orchestra lives. But for now, we're going to do some electronic production that is not orchestra related, orchestra related, orchestra related. Um, and so I've, I've blocked it out. I watched the thing and counted out how many counts. That's what I was doing with the metronome just now. I was like counting in my head and watching the scene and seeing where the hit points are, are at. I was like trying to remember the notes that I took over right. here. I have my little impromptu notation format here where I could be like, I wrote my own little notes like scene two, 120 beats per minute. There's a zero bar intro, then two four measure uh, sections. And then a one, two, three, four, five, six, dun, 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 whoo, at the end, I just wrote it out and it jogs by memory to what it's supposed to sound like. Nice. So that's all I got to do to get to get those those blocked out. And then 105, though, I'm doing the two 105s right now because I don't want to do a tempo change just yet. So I'm doing 105, one, two, two quarter notes, dun, dun, and one, two, three, four, two, two, uh, and then two two three four two two three four three four two four four fifty four you know it's uh four measure seg sec uh four measure sections times three and then one bar out like the one means duh, a downbeat it finishes on the downbeat 
instead of if it were a Q, it would have been like one, two, and then one. Like, dun. That's just how I jog my memory while I'm writing notes for what to write as these cues. Because each one is a miniature song. It can be anywhere from 15 seconds to three minutes long. Um, and we've done a couple episodes that were pretty much wall-to-wall nonstop music. So it, uh, do, do, do. it seems like it is going to be a fun time. Yeah. No, the cartoon does not start with PB. PB stands for power block. <laughs> I got you. You can't you can't get my details that easy. If cuz I I like I pretty much have have standing permission to do any of the cues on 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 Twitch as long as it's not too spoilerific. This one really isn't spoilerific, but um anyone anyone who knows the character will probably be like, "Oh, cool. That guy gets gets a thing. That person is a an influence in this in the score somehow but they might be wrong so i can't confirm or, or i can't confirm or deny but i will attempt to groove all right so we have pretty much an empty project and it's all in here and i got to get it out into here so there's multiple ways i do that these days I either beatbox it in which is a brand new thing that i just discovered pretty much two weeks ago um using distortion and voice changing stuff like octave up and down to do all the different instruments with my voice in multiple passes so i just hit record and loop it a few times and just lay down all the harmony boop, boop, boop. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. and uh i'd go from there either trans transcribe with my ear or i could use melodyne and turn it into midi but who cares it's faster to just play it based on what i'm singing in each line nice so i can put down the trumpets the strings whatever i got to do and I can be like, and like do the swells just right, you know, when it comes time to play it in. <sighs> so I can either work that way, but this is a short enough cue, and I know pretty much exactly what I, what I want to do in this case. Um, but I might want to get loco and just show you guys this weird method of compo this one weird trick. I probably want to, I'll mute my normal mic so you just hear the auto tune input coming in. That's what I was doing before setting up the robo mode. Um, but then the old fashioned way that I'm used to is just playing the thing and then I keyboard or the Ableton push or one of my finger input devices that is a little bit clunkier and a little bit less spontaneous because I can't play to save my life. So, do. All right, so what I'm going to do is switch over to the other mic here. Hello. Oh. Nice. Hey. What the heck is going on? I love it. I just want to talk this way when I go out shopping or something. It's like, can I help you? Hey, I'm here for some cereal. Auto-tuning is old news, but doing it live is still funny because you never expect it. Mm. Alright, cool. This works. I don't know if I want to layer it, though, with this, with this method today. I can do... Logic. Oh. 
Welcome, Welcome back. back. Um, I can also gender bend. Like so. I can be a little bit more feminine sounding. Or a bunch more dude-like. Ha 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 ha. Hey. Nice to see you. I'd sit here all day doing this. Just having a having a good old time. <clears throat> all right. So uh, I can turn it to diatonic if I want to change the key. Actually, I don't know how to change the key. Oh, invert key. No, key, key, key. Mm. All right, so E major. Uh, see, it has a couple of glitches, just like any auto tune does, but it's much better when you're layering stuff together to make sure it's in tune and you're not intoning improperly. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to go to B flat. Ooh. Let's say flat. Okay, but I want to go to my um, minor. Come on, where are you? That's blues. My uh, All right, let's get into this. Doo -doo, doo -doo. So I'm going to go half speed on this so that sounds awesome when it's full speed. Who cares? It's just a temp. I could do acrobatic things in slow motion like bullet time. So 105, we're going to go like. Can't do half of 105 without doing a fractional. Who cares? Let's do 52.5. Wait. No, yeah, that's right. Okay. Do. I don't ever like slow down a keyboard to do this note entry because I feel like it should be spontaneous and live. Um, but I have no such moral quandaries about singing because I can't even try to sing decently. So might as well be superhuman in the sketch so that you can, because if you're trying to imitate instruments, you might as well get it right from the start. All right, let's just record a melody line. And then, well. All right, so take that to double speed. Consolidate everything. 
All right, so that needs to be double. Oh, wait, no, I could just turn the tempo up. So let's do another audio track here. Let's go to B major here because I need to do a is making it get way off. Hang on. Oh, 
yeah, yeah. It's that double. That's gonna be like it's gonna be way faster. I need a lead in. So that goes back to 105. Check this out. I'm trying to line them up. starting to come out yeah oh yeah That's all funny. right <laughs> a lot easier on the iPad because it doesn't lose sync the way this does. I don't have to change the timing at all. It works perfectly. Like I could straight up put in whatever notation I want and it's like lined up exactly to the beat. But I'm still learning on Ableton here. I'm trying to That's show cool. you guys how to do it on a on a huh. DW based on a computer. Oh, cool, cool. I'm That's using right. less and less these days. <laughs> yeah, it's after I gotta go. Divides a track in logic. I've been using logic too much. So, uh, should we see by default we're facing right, so we're gonna set that to zero. That means this is gonna be 180. What's set that default? Just where you stuck the nose? Yep. Exactly. Might be a little quiet. 
<laughs> I just need to go. Could be totally wrong too. But I'm gonna shift it yeah. down. Is this reciprocated? Yes. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Euler. Actually, that sounds Euler. way worse than the. Uh... Hang on, I'm gonna sure bypass not. this. Retune here. Don't use deprecated stuff. How come that wouldn't work? Here? Hey, you voice rack. Oh, it just takes hey, a long time to pull. We got reverb. Nice. So that's legit. I'm super bright. I got pictures. So one thing we can do in sort of time in order to help that is I'm looking at the player proto. See, it said it's Y to negative 90, but that's kind of like 0, 180. That's legit. Um, All right, so what we need to do is actually change. Oh, okay. do, yeah. do, 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 do. All right, so uh, I, we're I wish it didn't do that little. Mm -hmm. Hear that? Apparently, that's not the case. Hey, hey, hey. That's cool. It almost mm -hmm. is in key, but not quite. That's gonna drive me nuts. Let me EQ it out. So that means that up is negative 90 or 90 and negative 90. One, two, three, and four. Thank nice. you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta get an EQ on this track now. And then boom. Let's see where it pops out. There we go. I see you. You little spike. You all the way up. Oh. Number two. Hey. Oops. Wrong thing. I turned it off. Hey. You yeah, hear yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. We gotta get it until it spikes. Okay. Do, 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 do. Is it? That still works. Do. Yeah. Cool. Do. Do. Going, going, going. We made it through the wall. Right Our there. first glitch has been exploded. Ooh, you hear that feeding back? Now we take it all the way out. And it barely shows so up. We have that control mode. But should work we with can... this as well. Yeah, see? I oh, know. I'm using I'm using the key event to do that. But... No, pad won't work either. Alright, so I gotta do it slow.
All right, so now that I have that bass there, I, I, that's enough to get the entire song jogged in my head. That's all I need to do. It doesn't have to sound good. It just needs to put the idea back in there so when I loop back around and write the song later, I have the entire thing ready to go. I could just add harmony, add ornamentation. I could do as much as many layers of harmony as I, as I can get away with singing before it detunes too much. Nice. nice. So basically, all I need to do is just, just hum a melody and a bass line at minimum, and at maximum, I could do entire choral sections. Um, but to keep this flowing, I want to start transitioning this before we're out of time here into, uh, into the actual track. So check this out. Mm -hmm. I could just drag audio down to the MIDI track, but forget that noise. I have better tools at my disposal. Unfortunately, one of them isn't Serum right now because I haven't installed. updated it yet and it's crashing. Oh, so. that sucks. Sorry. That sounds like a massively good idea. So directly there, I could start immediately transcribing it out and showing you guys what the music in my head sounded like. Sweet. So I need another way to filter out joypad input so that we actually get the thing that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. And to that end, let's try what we were doing yesterday, right? Cool. Um, so here I have has stepped. That's a private little thing that we're going to use. Um, and I'll have another kind of debug thing uh, just kind of for that. But what it'll be is a set of little flags, right? Flags and booleans are similar in nature, kind of interchangeable. And I want to, uh, I want to joy up, uh, down, left, and right. Have you created controls called J, or is it uh, something built into the engine? Well, we'll see. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna All right, cool. have a. We're gonna use the the. We're gonna use the dead zone from the controller mm -hmm. to kind of like virtualize our key presses. Right, or make an abstract of our key presses, because right now the way that our Pokemon movement is written, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually respond to access at all. Like we're getting. Uh, I didn't enable overdub. We're getting this greater than zero thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know, that should be working. Hmm. But what's happening is this trigger here. Wait, actually, this is what we could do. We can use an or statement. Or, cool. if, uh, so if I get access, I guess get access raw is a little bit more detailed. It's not what I want specifically. Returns the value of the access with no smoothing or filtering. Nah, let's just get regular cool. access. Let's let the game engine do its job. Cool. We're gonna get the access. Um, and I wanna know if get access, is that returning a value? Um, is greater than our dead zone? And I need two versions of this. So I want to know if the horizontal axis um, or the vertical axis that won't do it all. is kind of a non-zero ah, value. Ah, ah. Uh -huh. Or larger than the threshold, that's probably better. Because when we determine the dead zone, we can do some cool stuff. Like, there's just a little bit more control, and if you're not, like, building your own controller script, mm -hmm. this is kind mm -hmm. of a good a good baseline. Cool. So, instead of doing what I was going to do with the whole button boolean thing, I know this is the second time that I've sidelined that, but, like, the idea is we're going to use any of those mm -hmm. input events. I think it might even be redundant. Oh, sorry. I need... I also want the absolute value of the dead zone. Because greater than isn't going to cut it. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Can I do this? Sorry, I'm <laughs> That's a little late. Loud. Come on, keyboard. Believe in me. I really like it when you do nothing. <laughs> I don't know that other wireless keyboard we have. Same thing. Interesting. That might work. So if it's smoothing, it might average that out for us, so we don't need to do a bunch of stuff. Alright, so now I have these three states. I can get rid of these buttons. Uh, no, I want to do that full octave. And 
That's our dead zone. Yeah, so it's a quarter. Right? So all of that center, like the center quarter, shouldn't return any values. Mm -hmm. And, uh... It'll still work with key press. Whoa! Oh, I know why that is. Anyway. This is... This is the Pokemon input. So that works fine now. Right? That's interfacing with the controller. But the issue with it is stepping. It's taking too stinking long. Right? Like, I'd rather interpolate the motion and wait. Mm -hmm. Um, like, give it a new position to wait for, than to do, um, something else. And to, I don't know, you'll see. You'll all see. You'll all there see. There we go. So this is not a Robotron move. Oh, but we should have the access for the shooting thing. I just want to fix these steps a bit. So, now that works. That's cute. I don't need that information anymore. We can still use that flag. And I guess I could do this a couple ways. I can invoke repeating uh, check step rate. So like here's the grid size, and maybe I want like uh, float. I guess step time. And I'll <laughs> there set you go. that in here. I guess in seconds, right? So let's say like 0 0.25 do, 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 seconds do, do, every quarter of a second. Do, do, do. That'll be triplets. Da, da, da. And so now what I'll do is in the case of this input scheme, instead of calling that every frame, we're going to invoke this with a delay. So uh, I'll invoke. Oops. Uh, 16 triplets. They've screwed me again. That gives us the opportunity to use a method name and a delay. All right. So whatever this function is called. Pokemon move. And then that'll be grid delay. Whatever. And I guess the default should yeah. be cancel invoke. Mm. So, like, if we were to invoke repeating, like, in Pac- uh, yeah, we should definitely do that. If we had, like, a Pac-Man style input, where, like, you press the button and you just keep moving in that direction. Um, That's easier to play. It's a Tetris shape instead of a double row. Yeah. I wish you guys could see the push controller. Uh, oh, do I have to give it the name of a function? Shouldn't have to. I can if I want though. Hmm. Give that what? Cool. So that should be a little bit more forgiving. And at least if we hold a direction, then it'll step at those intervals. Ideally. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe that's a little too off. Grid size, grid step time, 0.25. Let's apply this. Shoot, let's make it really long. Um. Yeah. This one. I just want to see that it works. Ah, uh, something's going on here. Oh, you know what it is? It's my gate. Alright, so gotta get rid of that base. Or it's applying it both times. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's another way to do this. And that's by turning this into a cover team. All right, I'm gonna throw a contact on here and go through my library tell, and then I'm gonna find I'm gonna find some. Hang on, let me browse in this other selection here. Wait for seconds, real time. What? Grids. Ah, it's tuned to the wrong. I can just transpose the entire thing. And there's another way to write hat stepped out. But... Ternary? Ah, uh, yeah.
Why is that suddenly crackling? It's probably because my buffer is set too low for this stupid screen capture thing. Raise seen. it. Raise your buffer. Oh, God. It's almost 10 mil. It's 15 milliseconds of... My butt? Oh, I didn't do the last part. Invoke Pokemon Moon doesn't really work the same way anymore. I want to start a coroutine. Cool. And that's a coroutine of the same name. Nice. So if I can hold that down. Oh, uh, it's updating it at every frame. Uh, we gotta break it. Up. If that's that's what you're gonna do, man. Oh, we gotta have that. Yeah. Oh. Where is my yeah. contest window? Yeah, come over here. Oh, it's weird. Mm. It's doing it, but wrong. <laughs> doing what, but wrong? Let's see. So, how do I describe this? So there's a delay, but you can see that it stops the player. That's not waiting for a, a down event. I don't want that. I don't want that. Maybe I'm overthinking it. What is this doing up here now? It is calling out every frame is what it's doing. Oops. <laughs> um, what's wrong with you? Bad. Be like a really long delay but i feel like by the time it checks that yeah i like that it has a bring uh i'm also not capturing that input hmm capturing which well, by the time that this actually evaluates, uh -huh. like, it's not Whoops. going to do it. I would rather that it takes the step and then stops, mm. right? Instead, it's like making dozens of steps. Mm. That's not what I want. It's because this is getting started every frame, right? So I have to create a better control structure for that. I don't know. Well, I think that over. Um, I guess I'll kind of default this back down a bit to whatever it was doing before. Get rid of my return. I'm not particularly interested. <laughs> and... Yeah. Whoa, hey, what the... What did I press? Duplicate code button. Let's do that for now. So that still works with the key presses, but having this case statement in there is like it would probably be smarter to have another gate that looks more like this thing. Mm -hmm. We're checking to see if we have like a non zero input right. and then That's all stepping late. there. Like this makes more. Oh, what did I do? Input get access not equal to zero. Alright, I wanna take the release down a bunch. I'm going to do that with an expander, probably. 
Or actually, I could put Transient Master on it. That's a good one. I can reduce the sustain yeah, amazingly. It's rad. What am I watching? You're watching Power of Locks, Trixie TV. Strixie TV. Stay, stay Strixie. Um, we're building stuff for people. People like you. Unless you're not a person. Whoops. That's okay, too. Whoops. Why did that get messed up like that? Yay. Okay, so now the step size is still too big. I don't even know where my player dude is. I miss him. I miss him. Why is that all messed up? What's going on here? I guess it would not work in down, if that were the case. Do, do, do. Oh, that's that. So I was using that time to, like, repeat it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. I want to stop that from happening. However, now is not the time. I got it working kind of again. And it's this kind of instant... It's this instant truth that's happening, right? I can do a bunch of different things, like at the time since the last step, or yeah, have some sort of marker. Right. And when do those steps occur? Huh? When do those steps occur? So if I put a button, if I press a button, uh -huh. or cross like a threshold of the joystick, then it's going to set this trigger to go through once. Right? And that'll be broken here. Like, I really don't need to have this four times. Mm. Just doing that to check that I wasn't going insane. Huh. Um, but what I'd want to do is break out of update. Um, like another way to do that, I think now is a better time than ever. As we can there, check that, there, there we go. That's why we can check that update like input uh, rate, mm -hmm. and that's a little bit better than checking every frame. Mm -hmm. What's going on in here? So. I can check input by giving myself a space to do that. And it's going to do the same thing as update, pretty much. Except I'm going to choose... Just a little plug at the end. I'm going to choose when this happens. Um, and let's use Perfect. the grid step as... Maybe we'll change grid step time to input step time. Mm -hmm. So that became, that went from this. So we can use it for everything. Cool. And it became this. All right, so now we get to start on the ornamentation for it. And when it starts, we're going to put uh, an invoke here. But we're going to invoke repeating. Nice. All right, cool. It's like another so. type of coroutine. Gotcha. So this invokes the method that we call. So I'm going to make that um, in a method. certain amount of delay, the first, uh -huh. the first thing. And then the second one is repeat rate. Gotcha. So I'm not interested in changing, like in having a really major delay. Whoa. But I am interested in choosing how long it takes for me to put in... Drum input. pads, Dio. That's how you do it. So we can use input step time to kind of have like a frame counter on our controller. All right. Oh, God. It's you. <laughs> All right. So now input step time is zero, one. Pick -a -dick. The idea is I can hold a button down and it will just step me over every second. This is not that time. I'd name something incorrectly. Sorry. I could have probably spelled that incorrectly. I don't know. Oh. I don't need that anymore, do I? I like that. 
Okay, it's chat. What's up? The Dar Wars. It's nice. Horn Solo. Good one, James Rogers. <laughs> and good one, Ben. Oh, it's only working once. All right. That's at zero. This is what I needed. I need jams to work. Okay. Ah, uh, that last note though. So now that I have that information, oh, actually, that would probably be more apparent with this other info method. I'm glad we're building two at the same time, you know? Mm -hmm. It's really important. Right. And so when I let go, it'll keep moving to another spot. I still didn't it like step by step, and meh, I'm not feeling that. That might have been a better option the whole time. Hard to say. Are you talking about not using the step portal? Pardon? Me? Are you talking about not using a step portal? Oh, not using like a weird method to because that step time. Uh -huh. This isn't rotating because of the control type. Right. And that should. It just takes forever. I feel like I have to catch it on the right frame or something. Right? Like. You guys, when this finally comes together, you're just gonna be like, "What the hell." <laughs> you haven't even heard the rhythm yet. <laughs> James Rogers is calling you a noob, Jake. He says he writes all his music in assembly. Awesome. Good for him. I feel like a noob. I love that man. I look like a noob. Uh, a Santa Claus noob. ourselves there. Hmm, so do I like this invoke repeating thing? Oh, and it's taking a second to start. Don't care about your line endings. <laughs> there we go. That delay is so awkward. I love it. <laughs> I was just about to ask, how does it feel? Feels like junk. <laughs> Feels like junk. Because now if I'm only checking every frame, hmm. I really don't need to do that. Uh, I need to make that legato so it actually put them into it. I guess. Ah, man, I messed it up. Don't succeed. That's kind of weird. Also, I just feel like there's a delay or something. Line of fudger? Yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty cool. I know why it's doing that. Why? Uh, it's because I've, I'm starting to move stuff away from Oh, update. that's early. Uh, See, that's why I don't slow things down, because I lose the beat easily. And then that's on the final beat there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if this breaks out of the switch case and continues. Or if it just breaks check input and has to reevaluate. Hmm. That work. Ooh. Better? Or something? Oh, that's fine. Take your word for it. Yeah. Alright, so let's work on the orientation thing. I don't like that knife. Let's move that. 
Ah, gosh, zoom in. Ah, this is why I hate computers. I hate computers, too. Mm. I'm going to love mine. I used to hate mine. I'm going to love it, though. We should hate computers together. We should. Oh, look, that canvas is way off. I get some basic UI. I want to see something. All right. So we'll grab our UI and we'll scale that thing to it. I want it in the screen space of the main camera, please. Okay. All right, now. Now. Cool. That's More than sure. ever. Now we have a drum rack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I like the part where I can't see anything. Hmm. There we go. Omni drums. Get ready for it. Okay. Every single drum pad I have mapped out onto 16 by 16 grid. Time Just 12. A, uh, 10 minute warning. 10, Ten minute, minute warning. warning. Well, then yeah. let me lay down this beat before warning. we got to get out of here. Cause... Yo, right stick. You can call me right stick. Yeah, tell him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know I was going there. <laughs> All right, let's anchor this. You know, in case we change the size of the screen, <laughs> I have no good reason for anything. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you about sticks. Uh. Sticks. Uh. Hey, 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 Steven. Yo. What's brown and sticky? Is it a stick? It's a stick. Oh, oh no, ever since there's no about sticks. I'll stick it to you. Oh, tell me about the sticks, man. I'll what do the sticks do to you? Oh, man, they just lay around in piles. What? That's what I've been told, at least. I don't know. Someone tried to call me a pile of sticks once. I wasn't having it. Wow, the lag is absolutely incredible on this thing. And also, it's clipping the shit out of my signal, so... I'm gonna give your signal this shit. And my instruments aren't clipping, so. I don't know what it is. Word. That's deep, man. Mm. What the? Oh, that's not a two, that's a one. I don't know why I'm being so touchy. Whatever. Sweet. Alright. So I usually do stuff like this to remind me that it's gonna be like a dynamic text. Oh, that's a comment for yourself. Cool. Yeah, it's dumb. I'm gonna no, stop not doing at all. that. It's uh it's an engineering habit. It's not dumb at all. Oh you know I should do that. There you go. Ah, that stupid thirty second quantize bit me again. Every time, every time, I swear. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get this beat going first before we have to go. You are. I'm just trying to see what that stick is doing. It's a mad race for the sticks. Play the sticks. Bring us the sticks. Stick it to them. Mm. <laughs> all right. So, all this kind of stuff is there. Mm -hmm. uh, this will help us out, actually. So, I want a text um, that's just going to be right stick. Usually I'll name it something like that so that I don't lose track of myself. Mm -hmm. And as this thing's updating, I want to say the right stick label text. Oh gosh. Oh no. Um, it's gonna be whatever that. Oh no! Right, right. It's not on a whole tone scale. Is. So let's figure out where that is. I can fix that. Input horizontal vertical. It's also called horizontal. <laughs> Joystick axis. Join number. Get motion from all joysticks. Sure. Vertical. <laughs> Uh, 
I guess we have everything we need for extra players. <laughs> Thank you, Team Ed. Thank you for that last one. So is it the third axis? Must be. Hmm. I would like to look at the menu for that, my friend. Show me your documentation. In the manual, we have such a thing as an input mapper. I need to make that less slow. Hello. There we go. Window shake? That's weird. Mm. That's not something I see people implement very often. That's kind of cool. Up to 16 players, but that's not what I want. Keyboard. Remember that time you keyboarded? I At know. this point, I don't think you can remember working. It's what? It's, it's, it's just waiting. It's just trying to catch me off guard. <laughs> Maybe it's going to sleep when I start to read. Mm. I go to sleep when I start to read, too. Interesting. Aha. Nice. Well, this is why we're plugging in those values. Am I right? So, let's see, I have this location for that text to show up. I'm just going to drop it right here. Rogers says team ad is his T dad. Oh, they're really really cool. Yeah. Ah, gosh, I'm too behind the on the on the on the delay. I see the resemblance. Mm -hmm. They're modules. You know, that's a great question. Does the Shante feel on purpose? Yes. Nice. Thank you for the, team, for the two minute warning, Team Ed. You're my hero, Team Ed. It's been a pretty smooth stream. I'm having a yeah. good time. I don't know who's here, but I guess I should thank them. Yeah. And our patrons. Team and everyone on Discord. Tomaki's here. James Rogers here. Hey, Torek. This guy. Dogen this other guy. Keenow. Strixie TV. A bunch of new people. I don't know. Yeah, Crinkum and Keenow. Thank you for joining us. I haven't seen you around these parts before, at least not me. I'm happy to have you, though. Yo, what's up in the what up, is Tom in the up? You tell me about that up and yeah, what, yeah. What, what's what's up, up in it. Yeah, we're wrapping up, unfortunately. Ah, I like this. Morning, but yeah. I like the part where my keyboard wakes up. <laughs> I was reading chat, and it was like... <laughs> All right. We almost sat a time. Oh, boy. 
Do you want to say something special? Something special. Thanks, something. man. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, for letting me be on here and oh, our sure. unity in this way. And I look forward to doing it again. Hey, yeah, no problem. I really want to find out what the name of this other axis is. It's kind of driving me nuts. Okay, we're just going to switch it over nice. to Jake just to check out what he's doing really fast. Give him the yeah. highlight. I have I have oh. horrifyingly awful uh, latency right now, and it's it's like yeah. clipping constantly. Yeah, we hear it. But, but that's how I get a, really good. Well, this stupid screen cap program is wrecking my world, and we need to find a better solution because I can't work like that. Like, I'm barely touching Ableton right now. Like, I'm using 5% CPU, and all of the rest of it appears to be going to... I'm wondering if that's Ooh. the reason why uh, this one's cooking right now. Mm, it's not doing anything that... Fourth axis? It's No, it's just a video feed coming in on your end. Sweet. Why is it inverted? Whatever. I guess it would be the same. No, it wouldn't be. Yeah. It needs to be our vertical. Not to be confused. Man, this is gonna be a funny scene, dude. Oh god, when you, this music just comes in out of nowhere, like in between the KO hero, da, 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 and then just all of a sudden this comes in out of nowhere, and there's like a few like it in the in the episode. So I'm very very pleased with where this one is gonna end up heading. Nice. Sort of projecting that it's gonna be. So this is just the framework. This started as this. Remember, I beatboxed this into the. Oh no, my my mouse is about to die. Uh, dude, it's a it's a plague. This used to, this started as this. Remember? It oh, was yeah. like annoying to listen to over and over. Not at all, but So yeah. I just had to beatbox that in and I had a thing to create. I I'm just transcribing it at this point and ornamenting it instead of having to write the entire thing on the keyboard and get it right the first time. Right nice. on. So I was just able to go like I improvised that entire like the rhythm of the That's why I did it half time so that I had time to think about what I wanted to do next. And then like you speed it up and there you go. So that becomes this. So this is like the way I'm gonna write music from now on. I just gotta get better at singing so it doesn't sound like utter garbage beforehand. <laughs> or 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 better yet, tune tune this up so that it, the sound coming in isn't so grody. Uh it's currently a little bit on the on the nasty side. So if I can get the autotune sounding better and like put some chorus on there or something and like just make it beautified a little bit so that I'm when I'm singing in stuff, it doesn't sound like it's all over the place rhythmically. Yeah, the timing is really off. But maybe I'll do the entire Tyler, template right, in here first and then render out stems that I can drop into here and everything will be locked up. Okay, yeah. cool. That's I think the way to go. I'll try that on the next queue. Hey, but right. not for y'all because we so gotta go. Does that work in the up and down? All right, so we're gonna uh, sign I off now, guys. I don't wanna sign off. I'm Aww. just kidding. Thanks, everyone. Anybody wanna say goodbye? We'll see you guys tomorrow at four. Cool. Same time tomorrow. Okay, yep. Yeah. Same. Same. Uh, mint time. Same mint channel. Yeah. That's, that's oh. pretty good. <laughs> All your videos are transparent. That is. So, no, it's not.